welcome to another, another epic, epic adventure, adventure at Weaver Stonehouse Farms. So today we have got some peeps. Now, chicks. Chicks. Now we've got like 20. We got like 15 from Royal King today that we got our egg layers. So we're going to be getting a bigger batch of meat birds later. Later this summer. Yes. But for now, we have like five barred rocks. We think they're barred rocks anyway. Well, they picked them out. They were yeah. mixed in a little bit, but. Yeah. We got some. Two We got some Americanas, some Easter Eggers, some. Sapphire Gem. We got some white leghorns, and we're just going to set them up in their brooder here. What's all in here? Wow. Yeah, we got our uh, blue eggers the, and the blue, for the, night. the blue eggers and our olive eggers. I like this. Yep. So, I think I'm gonna need so now we're just gonna put them in. We're just gonna put them all in a little bin for tonight, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Dip their we'll nose in. in. We'll get their nose in a second. And we're gonna we'll put a light on them because baby chicks they need to be what? at ninety five degrees. Oh, they don't know where you're going. No, they're all kind of sleepy. Another leghorn. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Are you guys doing? No, it's just like holding still, Mom. I'm getting squished in first night, but that's okay because they need more milk. They'll cuddle up. Mm-hmm. Good night. Well, that was like a little flip ball. We're going to have to keep them warm. Oh, there you go. Now you're perking up. Dip our beak again. <laughs> there you go, Kelly. They need your water. Come on. <clears throat> Water. I'm going to get these bubble No, but it's on your stick. Some of them don't know what it is. Come here. Yeah, see, once yeah. that one, he saw the other, and he was like, oh, it's water. Oh, it's the stuff we drink. That one's walking. Might want to give him some room around the outside. Yeah, get the out casts. There you go. There. Somebody. The outcasted. Yeah, they're outcasted. Get them in there. So how many we got? Twenty. 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 Okay. I'm gonna in a car for who knows how long. But they look good. So. Mm. So, so we know. just used this little tote overnight until we could get our brooder uh, cleaned out. You'll see that in the next clip coming up. Small. We just we just set up our bigger brooder to put chickens in. Um, that you want to that we still got a lot of little ones, so you want to keep the light really close. That one will just lay in there. Okay, so that light is approximately twelve inches off the ground. Yeah. Ballpark. Mhm. Mm and that, but and you want your size your brooder to accommodate all your chickens. But you want to be, don't want it to be too big that they'll get lost or get too far away from the light and get cold. So that this is a good starting size, and over here we got a lot more that we can move out and expand. So we have room to expand. So this is an old shelf, um, an old metal shelf, heavy duty one, um, and it's it works great for this because as you can see we we can't expand out and we do as they get bigger. And then what we end up doing on top, we put. Uh, Chicken wire mesh. Chicken wire mesh and boards. Yes. Out. Okay. So they seem pretty happy now, right? Yep. Yeah. They they were a little tight last night, but no big deal. We got it fixed today. One mm -hmm. night didn't hurt them. Okay. And don't squeeze them. And they're fine. And don't squeeze them. Yes. Gotta be very careful with your teeth. Whenever we were moving around, they were like all crazy and excited to explore their new home. Wow. It's about three by three on that area, which is fine. So, cool. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time back on the farm. See ya. Oh, and thanks for subscribing. We appreciate it.